Greetings, Daniel Preseto here for Adobe Photoshop 3D and specifically Creative Cloud Update. So we have a new operation under 3D that's called Regenerate UVs. And this is made available in the recent update to the Creative Cloud. And it's for models that have bad UVs, texture maps. Um, it's just a way to correct. So if I try to paint on a model, it's just easier to illustrate. UVs are the way or, or the uh, directions for how textures are mapped, and in here you can clearly say, clearly see that I'm trying to paint just once somewhere and it's going everywhere. And if I do this on the legs, the same thing happens. And you can get a better idea of this when I open up, for example, the shirt model, the shirt texture, and it's just the map, the, the UV edits are just completely, the UV map is just completely all over the place, and it's impossible to paint. No matter where I paint, it's going to strike dozens of different areas that I don't want it to strike. So we need to correct that. And models that you buy from Daz 3D or Turbo Squid are not likely to have this problem because they pay these guys to make models that are good. But if you download them from, you know, Google Warehouse or other places or Trimble Warehouse, whatever they call it, you may come across this pretty easily and pretty quickly and you get frustrated. So let's go ahead and fix that problem here. Regenerate UVs. It's going to say, I'm going to clear all the existing textures. I'm okay with that because I'm going to create brand new, beautiful textures. And I can choose between fewer seams, as if you were sewing a model, you would do fewer seams, or you would say lower distortion. In this case, I'm going to say lower distortion. It'll take a second here. I was thinking about how to unwrap it. And there you go. So if we look at the shirt now, it is much nicer. It just looks much nicer. And something I could actually paint on, and it'll make some sense to me. So let's pick a nice red color here. And if I paint on this, you can see that now it's not being applied on the arms and everywhere else. It's actually working where I, well, kind of what I expect. So in this case, I am going to choose red. I'm just going to blanket this whole thing in red. I need to do another texture because it's going to, there I go, I just do it all there. And I'm going to save it. And there I have a nice Lego red. Let's go ahead and close this one out. I'm going to go ahead and open the legs. Now they have unwrapped in different pieces, which is depends on the algorithms of how UVs are, are created. But that's okay. We're not going to worry about that today. That's something more complicated and we don't need to get into. But I'm just going to say, whoops, change my color. I'm going to save it. And the legs, uh, sorry, the skin, the head, and all that stuff. We need to pick a nice yellow for that. And drop that on there. Okay, looking good. Now we'll go ahead and put that up here again so we can look at it. So now I can go ahead and, and do some interesting stuff. In this case, I can pop an eyeball, make him a little smiley face, you know, and here I could do some kind of, you know, design, some kind of super lightning bolt and go, wee, all right, lightning bolt guy. So you can do anything you want with the Lego here at this point, and you can paint on him, put some detail, you can do high res textures. We've gone from impossible to paint textures to really decent UV maps to be able to paint and be creative with our 3D models. And that's what's new in Photoshop Creative Cloud Edition, CC as it's lovingly known, and Regenerate UVs is the operation. I hope this was helpful, and thanks for listening. Oh, and watching.